The federal government says it has reinstated the suspended social investment program, disclosing the scheme would uh, provide direct payments to 75 million Nigerians in 50 million households to reduce the sufferings of citizens, especially vulnerable groups. Minister of Finance and the Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edu, announced this at the Ministerial Sectoral Briefing to mark the first year in office of the President Bola Tinubu administration in Abuja. On January 12, Tinubu suspended all the programs under the National Social Investment Program Agency as part of investigations of alleged misconduct in the management of the agency and the scheme. Given an update on the steps taken by the committee to tackle fraud, the finance minister says that the government has decided to restart the program to provide soccer for poor Nigerians. That program has been restarted. It involves helping at least 75 million Nigerians, 15 million households with payment of 75 million Naira in the immediate term. And in order to make sure that the public trust is there in this process, we have a system that has been developed between the Minister for Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, the Minister for Health, Minister for Youth, and so forth, we have come up with a globally best standard in providing direct payments. On the one hand, each person must have, and we are helping them to get, even to the lowest world level, village level, to have a mean that that individually identifies them. Secondly, their payment must be through digital, digital means, whether it's a BVN, which means a bank account, or a mobile wallet. And we have brought all the skills and technology that's to bear in Nigeria to help. So the, the, um, the mobile network operators have all been recruited to ensure that we have a faster rollout of this program and that is one of the key ways in which initially the poor and the most vulnerable will be helped.